This game looks like some sort of mech fighter future thing. I, I have no idea. I don't know what to expect. I have no idea what the hell we're getting into. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It looks somewhat interesting on the box. It's something. Progress through a branching storyline of 43 mention missions with advanced variations. Uh, it's got multiplayer, transform from flight mode to ground mode. I mean, I don't know. It's a game. It looks like it could be cool. Goodies. What are goodies? Oh, are these like... Complete blackout? Never mind. I was thinking maybe these were like cheat codes or something. But there are way too many of them to be something like that. So it must be like maybe artwork or sounds or something. Holy shit, whatever it is, there's a lot of them to unlock, man. <laughs> there's, this shit just keeps going forever. There we go. That's a lot of goodies. What kind of options do we have? Controller, sound, music, volume, screen position. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Okay. I guess just a new game then. Um... What's that bar? <laughs> I am guessing, I'm not sure, but my second my second memory card is an aftermarket one that has way more like free space than a memory card supposed to have. So I'm guessing that's some sort of graphical glitch because of that. Choose game name, B-E-A-1? Bia, Bay, Bay, B, I don't know. Uh, no, we'll just do stream, why not? Nice and simple. Uh, there we go. Done. Seems good enough to me, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, so this is what it means by, like, branching quests or whatever. I'm assuming after you play one, you get to, like, pick the next one to go to down these different storylines. But it all converges back on the same point. So it's not like it really branches in the long run. Tatiana will take you through the basics of piloting, pi <laughs> piloting Battle Engine Aquila. This will cover everything from basic movement in both walker and jet modes as well as weapon use. Listen to her advice and try to keep Colonel Kramer happy. We'll try. Oh, that's why it was suggesting that name. That's the name of, like, the unit that we're getting or whatever. The prototype unit. Fancy. Those things make me think of, like, the bad guys in Bionicle. <laughs> you know? Like, these these dudes, like, clad in red with the sword arm things. I think this isn't an unofficial Bionicle game. Not really, but, like... <laughs> hmm. You're pasty white, obviously evil. Oh, and you got a white eye, yeah, double evil. Hey, Paul, you racing tonight? Shh, keep it down. You don't want the boss to know. Sure, you coming through once? Why is one of your eyes all squinty, bro? Catch you later. So these are like military machines that they also race with? Oh wait, were they just raided? Maybe it's like an underground racing ring or something? I don't know, man. Someone here gets hurt. Believe me, I'm no more happy about this than you are. But we've got a serious situation. We need someone like you right now. And Tatiana here reckons you are our man. Just why would I want to help you? We've got something we think might interest you. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. Is Kirill over? 
Let me introduce you to our latest poem. Yeah, I was reading the uh, story in the manual there. And you're a uh, dock worker with a boring life where the most interesting thing is you're partaking of uh, illicit loader racing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> the races are, are illegal. Welcome aboard. Now, don't touch anything and I'll take you through the instrumentation you see before you. Appreciate it. This is the thread circle. That knot indicates north. As for its other functions, I'll demonstrate them later. The okay. to your left is your scanner. Enemy units show up in red, friendly units in blue. If you ever need to review these messages, check out the Quilla's message log in the pause menu. All systems nominal. Dude, I miss manuals with little lore bits and all. Same, my guy. I miss manuals in general. Aim up and down, we can, okay. We can very slowly pan around the camera. We can walk around. Now Can't seem to like aim or anything yet. X seems like it wants to jump, but like we're being stopped or something. Like it's making a sound. And it's like this weird particle effect thing. I almost wonder if it's supposed to be like a jet booster or something. So, so wait, how is it overheat? We can only, I guess maybe just like some energy weapons can overheat. The, oh, on the right side is our heat. Wait, can it actually overheat? Ah, there we go. Okay. So charging seems safe. Aquila is also equipped with a rapid fire Vulcan cannon. It has limited target tracking facilities, so it's really easy to use. There are three trucks nearby. Try the Vulcan cannon on them. It has limited ammo in the truck, but it's only really effective in infantry or in the armory. Now let's see how you do against a few moving targets. Track them down using your scanner. Bro, we got this. Uh, oh, okay. That's weird. <laughs> the using up and down to zoom, I mean. Oh shit, the lock on like let go. I mean they did say limited, so that's fair enough. Energy is used to power the shields in walk mode or enable you to fly in jet mode. It will regenerate whilst you're on the ground. This is your armor level. As a wheeler takes damage, the protective plating gets destroyed. If this gauge reaches zero, then you're in big trouble. Does that also regenerate? Probably not. Wait, I don't... I don't know how to... <laughs> Wait, what? Do you want to explain that again, lady? I missed something. I, I definitely missed something. Ah, I don't understand how to dodge. We press like... Incoming like I'm moving left. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll pick it up in no time. Now I want you to engage jet mode and land Okay, on well. Aquila isn't designed for aquatic activities, so be careful. Provide safety. 
transform back into walk mode over the target. And use your retro thrusters to touch down softly. Oh, maybe that's what... Ah, okay. X is our retro thrusters. We can't jump in walker mode, though? We have like infinite of the 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 retro thrusters or whatever. Bring Aquila to this location for the next section. Okay, yeah, it seems like it, more or less. Oh, we can actually like transform midair. That's cool. Rafe sideways? So, hold on. How do we... Oh. Oh! <laughs> we have missiles! Oh, wait. Those all just missed, didn't they? I don't know. It's fine. Stall? Don't stall. I'd rather not have incoming missile. How do we actually dodge, though? Oh, it's not square. <laughs> oh, shit. Low energy. Oh, that's right. They did mention that we have, like, limited energy and shit like that. To fly around with. Take him off from the ground. Try not to land in the water. I'm assuming that won't go well for us since she specifically said, like, <laughs> not made for water. Do we click R3? I don't... I, I mean, it says we completed the evade tutorial, but I don't think we evaded a single thing, man. She said something about it having, like, dodging capability and just moving left or right, and I was moving left or right, and it didn't seem to do anything, so... I don't know. Whatever. I like the way they did the loading bar. Instead of just like a solid color, it fills in the background. It's neat. New items are now available in the goodie screen accessible from the main menu. Grade C, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like we did particularly well. Communications with the mainland have been lost. Numerous enemy contacts are heading towards the facilities on R1-04. Defend the base and prevent the evasion force from taking over the island. Ensure that the battle engine is protected at all times. Well, we still only have the one, so... I guess that's what we'll take. I wonder, like, if we can... If there's, you know, like, new game plus, almost, you know? Like, if we can come back and redo these older levels, but with newer... Battle engines. Oh, BEA! Battle Engine Aquila! That makes a lot of sense. We've lost contact with High Command. Strange. Have you run diagnostics on all systems? Yes, sir. It seems like our signal is being jammed by an external... About three, no, four, unknown contacts on approach vector. They're coming in fast, sir. It's an attack. Sound battle stations. And get me some air support up there on the double. General, our forces have started their attack run. It looks like we've caught them completely by surprise. Their base doesn't stand a chance. Uh, little did you know, they have an amateur dock worker flying some uh, advanced fucking military machinery here. So, <laughs> obviously, sir, you're screwed. Holy shit, there's a lot of you, aren't there? 
We blow up big boys? Uh, okay. Ow, I still don't know how to dodge, my guy. Is there a, uh... I hope there's a repair pad somewhere. Oh wait, you're you're friendly units, aren't you? We can't let any of them report back. Wipe them all out. Poor thing, boss guy. I feel like the uh, energy weapons could have been given a slightly cooler sound when they fire than just the little tiny pew, pew. <laughs> like, it's not exactly uh, a thrilling sound, you know? That's the last of them. Good job, son. Oh, wait, that was the whole mission? Cool. <laughs> Glad we did well at that. <laughs> you said it had all been taken care of. I don't you dare disappoint me again. We've had communications breakdowns across the board. Reports are sketchy, but they suggest that as of this morning, Muspel forces have staged a major invasion of our territory. We're still trying to find out exactly what happened. In the meantime. We've been ordered to move the battle engine to the firebase on Apollo. But we haven't finished the testing program, sir. High Command is aware of that. Facilities are being set up on Apollo to enable your team to continue the testing process. In the meantime, I want everything packed up and ready to go by 0400. Now let's move it, people. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I still don't really know what the hell's going on. I never understood in, like, movies, video games, TV shows, whatever, when they just grab some random person, dock worker, or whatever, and suddenly they're the, the savior of the world. Like, <laughs> you guys really didn't have anybody that was suited to drive one of these things before us? Like... The transports taking the battle engine to a firebase on Apollo have run into an enemy fighter ambush. Meanwhile, an invasion force has set down on Apollo itself. Protect the transport convoy, then help the firebase defense deal with the enemy threat. And we still only have one, so... I have to assume you can't come back, because otherwise, why would it keep giving us the option of, like, which engine we want to use, which battle engine? So there's got to be, like, later on you can unlock more, and then you can come back and replay these things with your new engines or whatever. I got two bandits incoming. Support from Apollo is coming, but a couple of minutes away. You've got to get that thing out of here and keep them off us. You got it. Well, people that knew how to hadn't fixed the problem, so they say screw them. maybe Rando will save the day. I guess. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Door thing, boss. We're taking damage. Oh my God, you're you're good. Is Shiv already low energy? Shiv, we're running out of energy quick, huh? No shit, dude. Okay. Charge shots are definitely more worth it than rapid fire. Both in terms of, like, damage and the amount of heat they produce. Incoming warhead? I don't know how to deal with a warhead. I don't even know how to dodge like a normal shot. Looks like 
feel bad for all, like, just the dudes. Weapon augmented? What does that mean? Like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Did it level up? Apparently there's more dudes over here somewhere. Oh, hi. Is there really no better way to deal with like all these little dudes than, <laughs> than this massive cannon? They have one dude left in the battlefield. Oh god. We coming, we coming. Where are they at? Where's the big dudes? Let's take out the big dudes first. Thankfully, we seem to have, like, shit ton of health. Not unlimited, but a lot. Looks like that's about it for the invaders. Good job, everyone. Aw. Oh, oh, we lost the ship. Eh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> These missions are a lot shorter than I expected them to be. I mean, it is still very early. It's, what, the third mission in the game or whatever? Fourth, maybe? For a while now. We hoped we'd have a little more time to prepare. But I guess that's not the case. Take a look at this footage, Hawk. This is Lieutenant Lewis Carver. He was one of our test pilots in the battle engine program. He was certainly the most promising candidate and got to grips with the control in no time at all. That first blast took out the remainder of the test pilots. Carver made it out past the perimeter. We can only assume he's gone over to the Muspel. His treachery did a pretty good job of screwing us over, <laughs> and thanks to the specialized nature of the controls, we couldn't just get any jet jock to step in. That's why Miss Kirilova put your name forward as a potential candidate. Me? Mm. But I'm not military. Wasn't there anyone else? No. I've seen you run those loaders. Face it, Hawk. You're natural. Believe you me, son. I ain't happy about a sieve running around in our hardware, but it's the only choice we have. There's a lot of people counting on you right now, so we're gonna back you up any way we can. At least they, uh, mentioned that whole thing, you know? <laughs> like, it's kind of weird that there's just some random dock loader, you know, working a 9-to-5 that they pulled into this military operation. They're not just ignoring that weird fact. Oh, wait, so we have to do? Why can't I do this one up here? Maybe we could only do that one if we got like a perfect score or something? Or maybe if we lost all of the the ships? I don't know. Muspel forces have launched a major offensive in an effort to take the Apollo Firebase. Protect the four main base buildings and try to hold out until air support can arrive. Help the air support with any remaining invaders. Ooh, Unit 01 Pulsar. Okay. I don't know if that's actually, like, better or worse in any way, but it's different. So, you know, I'll take it. I'm assuming it controls exactly the same. I, I didn't even notice, like, any weapon differences or anything listed. I mean, like, power levels of the weapons, maybe, but... <laughs> the explosion sound effects are something. 
<laughs> don't know if I'd say they're good, but they're something. Yeah, I know, we're running out of energy. Hush you. Oh, wait, we lost the airfield? Um, that sounds like it's a bad thing. I apologize. You know, it'd be really handy if we could jump. You guys can make this thing that can, like, fly and shit, but you can't make anything that jumps. Oh, you're a dick. Oh, hi. There's a lot of big dudes down here. We're gonna run out of these micro-missiles. We need, like, heavy artillery? Munition depleted. Uh, well, if we go down, we can... Oh, we have grenades? Okay, these are cool. I'm just killing whatever I find. There's really no strategy to what I'm doing. I'm not a uh, soldier after all. I mean, we already kind of discussed this. I'm just a dude. So I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I just see red dots and I shoot at it, man. That's that's it. Maybe you guys should have programmed the thing to have red dots on like the more important targets first or something. I don't know. Surely you can take out like the, the, the dudes. Low energy. Oh, okay, because, yeah, it shields, too, of course, yeah. So I was just taking a lot of hits. Anytime, BB. So happy to help. Is there, like, a turbo boost or something? I don't even think I'm hitting this dude, even though, like, I'm locked on. Uh, well, I apparently only had Vulcan Cannon. Am I supposed to be chasing that thing down? It's flying, like, way over the water, and I do not have infinite energy, so I think we're just gonna turn around here. Well done, son. Looks like there might be a place for you in this man's army yet. Yeah, we only lost half the base. I mean, I guess it's better than all, none of the bases, you know? Take what we can get. <laughs> Grade D. Again, fair. Escort duty. A convoy of civilian transport ships is being escorted by the support frigate Marshall away from the island of Apollo. Ensure that the convoy successfully reaches its destination. Okay. So grenades, that's new. What are the one star things? Oh, that's like how well something does against individual things. Okay. So, like, the Pulse Cannon and Vulcan Cannon are really good against ground forces. Grenades are medium against tanks. The Vulcan Cannon sucks, but Pulse Cannon does all right, and the grenades do amazingly. And then against those flying bastards, the, like, real skinny fast ships, the Pulse Cannons and grenades suck, but the Vulcan Cannon's good. Okay. That makes sense. I'm not going to remember all that, but... <laughs> Basically, things that go fast, use the cannon, the Vulcan cannon against. Things that are armored, use one of the other weapons against. That's uh, that's all we need to know. Enemy force heading this way. 
The order's come through to get the civilians off this island. We need all available forces for our defense here, so it looks like you've got escort duty. I'll come with you. We can continue our research on the way. Are we being, like, well compensated for all of this, Sir, or are we, we just being forced contact. to do it? Looks like they're heading for the transports. Get I remember really here. having an option. I just kind of pulled from prison one day, and they were like, you're coming with us? <laughs> like, okay. An enemy battleship has been sighted on an intercept course. Their support is on the way. Keep that battleship away from the transports. Enemy fighters! Enemy fighters approaching from the southwest! Bruh, oh my god. How did I do that? Did I just do a, a maneuver? Okay. Oh god, how low? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. The problem is landing on... Nope. We're in the water. We're in the water. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like because once you have speed man like slowing down is very slow the brakes are not great in these things they have them uh, supposedly but they're not good so you carry a lot of momentum once you try to uh stop i wish it didn't make us like go back through all the menus and stuff to retry I feel like that's unnecessary. Before heading this way. At least the cutscenes are skippable. I'll take what we can get. An enemy battleship has been sighted on an intercept oh, course. Man. Their support is on the way. Keep that battleship away from the. So is that the, is that the battleship there? Can I just shoot the battleship? Be prepared to land on anything. The guns on that battleship are littering the convoy. Take them out, son. Do I have grenades? Yes, I do. Thank God, dude. Grenades are awesome. That the whole ship gone or it's I I can't be oh shit what was that we glitched through the fucking ship dude okay okay well I thought we were fine but apparently not. Oh, I'm gonna land on something. No worries there. Take off. Take off. Let's go. Okay. Now, presumably, that thing's just dead. So we shouldn't have to worry about it, like, at all anymore, I don't think. Bro, like, this lock-on sucks. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. Like, we're not hitting anything. Okay. Now I'm gonna try and land on this thing over here, because we are out of energy. 
Let's go. Uh, fucking fly. Fucking fly. Why, <laughs> dude? I hit the button. We had energy, not much, but a little bit. Oh my god. This is this is the death of me. There's one level here. I can't see shit. I mean, I have to assume that all the guns are just gonna die whenever the ship dies, right? So like... Sounds good to me. I can't even hear the people talking because this shit's so fucking loud, dude. All right, you know what? Let's just go back to one of these ships. Here we go. Okay. All right, slow it down and drop. There we go. And then just shoot randomly. Wait, what am I? Oh shit, those were grenades. <laughs> we're fine. Let's just get back up here. What are the chances we die again? Get wrecked. Incoming missile on my ass. It's our energy. Our energy's good. There's more dudes, what, over here somewhere? The air support's arrived. Two groups of fighters on the Low energy? Fuck me? Okay. Just run away. Run away. Okay, don't move forward. Okay. Oh, buddy. Okay, we need to go this way. Are we full? We're full. I don't like missiles. Oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. No, don't drop fucking missiles on my bros. Yeah. We're probably gonna lose a couple transports. I was too busy, like, regening. I thought that was our air support that was incoming, to be honest with you, not enemy air support. Oh shit, we're already low on energy. Bro, get out of my way. Bro, please. Oh god, we're out of energy. Oh god, can we make it to the ship? Oh, thank fuck, dude. This is a repair pod, right? Chocobo, what's up, man? Okay, well, I mean, we're still alive. I don't see any enemies on our mini-map. Does that mean we win? GG? Maybe? Nice, okay. Oh, fuck. I mean, we probably got, like, a D on that one. <laughs> Also took us like five tries. It was kind of terrible. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. How was Christmas all? It was pretty good for me. It was uh tiring, but you know, seeing family was nice, and uh, free food is always nice. So can't complain too much. Twas twas good, just exhausting. That's all. How was it for you though, my guy? I hope you had a decent Christmas. Counter-Strike, let's go. Breed and Bow, too. Bow looks all right. I like Bow. The Air Carrier Venturer has been deployed in a final attempt to clear the island of Apollo of all Moose Bell forces. Assist the Venturer in destroying all enemies forces. All enemy forces. Wait, what? This is new. Select configuration? What is the configuration Nudlo thing? Five, one, oh nine, my god, just redeemed hydrate. Bruh, I can't... <laughs> I can't...
posture check, and then stretch. You should do it in the other order. You do it every time. Because I'm going to posture check, and then I'm going to stand up. Check. It's going to ruin the posture. Hold on, we got to pause before we can do anything. Oh, God. Noodlo519 just redeemed Streech. You Streech. Charlotte told you to? Yeah, okay. Bitch on my back. So oh, good. Not bad. Pretty laid back. I like it. That's what my goal is for Christmas every year. To just have a laid back, chill Christmas. Mostly, I just want to, like, wake up, uh, open presents with Noodle, if we don't do it the day before, because normally she just wants to do it the day before Christmas, so that's what we end up doing. Uh, eat some food and sleep. That's <laughs> that's what I want to do for Christmas. Maybe play some games or something, because, uh, oh, shit, because I probably got a game or two for Christmas anyways, so, you know, new things to play. That's what I want to do, but now I have to, like, go places and talk to people and... Uh, so we're never home for Christmas, that's why. I tell you every year, we're just going to start telling everyone if they want to see us for Christmas, they have to come to us. But no, <laughs> Noodle doesn't want to do that. Is there like, I feel like we should take down the big ships first, maybe? You're dead. That means people in our house and uncomfortable kitties. The kitties will be fine. <laughs> they'll hide for a couple hours and then they'll come out. It's <laughs> no big deal, love. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit, I forgot to... Oh, that's bad. We need to find a repair pod. Also, we're shooting like right over this thing. I feel like the ground configuration is just better in every way, man. For our bro here. Wait, wasn't there like a dude right here? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I know our armor's low. Is there a repair pod around here somewhere? No, Charlotte wouldn't mind. She'd probably enjoy meeting all the new people. Are these things repair pods? What are these things? There's a repair pod. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. It's really important... That you fucking use the, the retro boosters or whatever the fuck they're called. Retro thrusters. To not hit the ground hard as fuck. Welcome to the Ventura. Sit back. We'll show you how the Navy gets things done. Firebase Apollo here. Enemy forces have completely surrounded us. I hope there's no, like, actual friendly fire. Fuck you! Incoming Bro, there's always incoming missiles. What do you want from me? Ammunition depleted. All right, we have to like retro thruster down. We can't just fucking hit the ground. Give me nades, boys. There we go. Who's taking hostile fire? Have you considered just not being under attack? 
I think that would fix most of your issues. I still don't understand the weapon augmented thing. It just says that randomly and I don't know what it means. Okay, I think that's all of like the, oh wait, no, there's a. I don't think we can shoot that far. Bro, there's so many of these things. Holy shit. Another hydrate? Bro, we just hydrated. Chocobo enthusiast just redeemed hydrate. Let me let me murder a dude or two real quick. And then we'll hydrate the fuck out of ourselves. Alright. Why? Oh wait. Okay. Hydrate. Here you go. It's just water tonight. Nothing fancy. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious, delicious water. My favorite. Continue. Go. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess that'll do it. Pulse cannon augmented? What does that mean? Does that mean, like, it's an extra large boom or something? Maybe that's what the, like, augmented thing means. Oh, the map shows us, like... Oh, no? I don't know. It's got, like, red sections and blue sections. Does that mean, like, what they have control of? But this section looks more or less empty. We're holding station directly over the firebase. Another large enemy force is approaching. Like approaching from where? This side? Get the battle engine airborne and see what you can do about those fighters. Where are they? Also, I really need a refill. Oh, something died. Here we go. Refill me, daddy. Where? Is it this way? Aha, is it you? You look like a dick. It's not doing any damage? There we go. I feel like there's some sort of range thing that the game doesn't really talk about. It seems like at a certain range, things just don't hit. Are there any more big dudes or are they all just little dudes at this point? Oh, wait. Do we not have thrusters whenever energy's low? The retro thrusters? I mean, I guess... <clears throat> I guess that would make sense. See, like, it shows a bunch of red on this half of the map. So I would think, like... That there's a bunch of baddies over here but there's like nothing over here there's one little dude so i don't really understand the mini map the red and blue on it there but whatever we we won we'll take it Not a bad game. It's <laughs> it's it's a game, you know. <laughs> I don't really have anything super negative to say about it. It's not fantastic looking. The voice acting isn't amazing. The gameplay is pretty decent. I mean, what's not fun about blowing shit up? The air carrier Venture has been deployed in a final attempt to clear the island of Apollo of all Moose Bell forces. Assist the Venture in destroying all enemy forces. Wait, is that not what we just did? Oh, I forgot to go forward. That's why. 
Boost spell forces have all but taken the island of Russo. An enemy outpost has been established as a precursor to an assault that will destroy the final Forsetti base. Destroy the Moosebell outpost to delay the offensive. Ensure that the base survives. Ooh. Oh, we have three different ships now. So what's Lancer? Flux missile? Versus grenades. Also, it has torpedoes. Torpedoes seem a little more... Wait, spread bomb? Pulse cannon? Blaster? What? Can you change your name in game? I don't think you can change it. You can set your, like, campaign name or whatever. Okay, well, I guess we'll try Blazer here with the uh, Vulcan, or not the Vulcan cannon, the Spread Bomb. That's new. We can pick, like, who we want. But I don't really understand, like, how different people are better at dealing with different things, you know? Like, how is Lieutenant Fox average at ground and air troops? But Major Lorenzo, in the same machine, sucks at fighting ground troops, but is great against air troops? I don't really understand how that works. <laughs> Cause like, you're piloting the same mech at the end of the day. How does that change anything? But I don't know. Cheats require name change. Okay, but are there any like cheats that are worth restarting or whatever? After this mission, we'll go back to the main menu and see what we can do. It's a civilian broadcast from Russo. Some of you people had family in that mess, but I need you to stay focused. Focused? They're murdering civilians over there. Calm down, Hawk. We need you to stay cool. We're sending you guys out there soon enough, and we'll all have plenty of opportunity to even the score. Um. Okay. I love how, like, every mission. We've been, you know, succeeding, but for some reason we're still, like, losing. Ah, the blaster is an energy, like, weapon. Okay, that's cool. We still have grenades, though, and grenades are just OP. Four K four two. Yum. Yeah. What's where? What and where is Big Dude? I see Big Dude on map. Are you in air? Oh, that must be you. You're kind of hard to hit, aren't you? with the weapons we have available. Seems like there's a lot of them over here somewhere. I wish there was like some sort of turbo mode or jump or anything, man. Where I still... <laughs> <laughs> I still don't really know what the warhead is, but... I can't hear a single fucking word. Oh wait, that was it? That was victory? <laughs> okay! Well, apparently we lost a building, but whatever. We won! Yay! <laughs> Things just happen. That's, that's this whole game, man.
Things just happen and you're along for the ride. I don't I don't understand any of it. I don't know what the fuck's going on 90% of the time. Alright, so if we go back. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm pretty sure like it saves itself all the time. Again. Oh wait, choose game name. Wait. This is just for the save though. I mean, I'll try typing it in anyways. B e or K or two before K for two. Okay. Done. So is that what we do? We also have the goodies that we've unlocked. What are the goodies? Okay, yeah, so it's like models and stuff. Maybe this is movies? Movies. It'd be nice if it told us what it was instead of just saying, you know, unlocked. Load game. Sure, whatever. Load B4K42. Now, like, what was that supposed to do, though, is the thing. Because I don't see anywhere else to change name or anything. Unless they're, like, multiplayer-only cheats. But it... Technically, our name is now B4K42, I guess. After the destruction of the outpost, a... Uh, God mode? Fuck yeah. A moose spell counteroffensive has been launched. Perimeter patrols have already engaged the enemy. Help the Forseti forces defend the base structures and keep the enemy units at bay until reinforcements arrive. You must hold at all costs. Um, I guess we can try the Lancer. And again, it seems like just taking the middle of the road. Because it's not like we know if we're going to be fighting ground or air units more until we play the mission. So just using Lieutenant Fox seems like the best move in most situations. If we go back and like redo missions to get more stars or something, I guess, we could pick specific people. But Let's see, like, did God Mode take? Well, we definitely have limited energy. And limited ammo. So I'm guessing... Jesus Christ, dude, that's... <laughs> oh! Okay, well that overheats a lot, a lot fast, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I don't... I don't think God Mode took. How can we not lock on from, like, any distance? Wait, is that thing still standing? Or flying, I guess, rather? Please dive, thank you. Yeah, I don't know how else you would change your name in the game than what we just tried. Forseti turrets and building. Okay, no. The dude over here somewhere, apparently? Oh, you're just regular dudes. Do we have just like a normal weapon to kill dudes with? How did I just dodge? 
I still don't understand like how the dodging works or anything either. It's it's literally just random. I've had it happen twice. Yeah, God mode definitely didn't take. We've lost a little bit of health too. Enemy bombers from the south. That's north. Okay, so this way. Oh, wait. This is probably the bombers they're talking about, actually, now that I think about it. I'm guessing. Or, no. They probably wouldn't call tanks bombers, actually, huh? That's probably some sort of flying ship. Beam laser augmented? Oh. Fly! Bro, see, like that. I have no idea how I just did that. It just happens. Oh, I'm sure there's all kinds of incoming missiles. I have no idea how to dodge them, though, so. Even though I failed that part of the tutorial, instead of having me redo it, the game was just like, ah, you're fine. You'll figure it out. Do we have a refill station down here? We do. Well, we suck. Okay, well, let's quit. Because I, I would love to get the uh, cheats to work. I'm going to look it up real quick. See what I can find. Yeah, ow. Okay. Battle engine. Aquila. Aim FAQ. Cheats. Okay. Oh, apparently you can use multiple codes together at a time. Okay, it looks like you can only do it with new games, maybe? New game. Yeah, that's fine. We have a save. Whatever. Um, all bonuses, 105, 0, 5, 7, 7, 0, Y2, Y2, and then B, Four A or two and then exclamation mark Eva E V Ah fuck, okay, well that's Well let's just try let's just see if this even works, I guess. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is apparently God mode and all features unlocked. Apparently. Oh. It says hit pause during the game to find the selection for God mode. So we might have had God mode unlocked <laughs> and just not known it. Welcome aboard. Now don't, don't touch anything uh, the instrumentation you see before you. Quit. Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to go back to the load the other game and hit pause and see what happens. If that doesn't work, then I guess we'll try God mode and level select so we can skip back to where we were. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, new items are now? What? What do you mean new items are now? Oh! <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> it definitely worked. <laughs> At least the uh, all bonuses or whatever worked. Progress has been loaded. Okay. Let's go here. It didn't unlock, like, a new ship or anything for us. Hit pause during the game to find the selection for God Moon. Now, that's just listed under Xbox, but... I'm assuming it would work the same on PS2? All it says is God Moon. Nothing. Hmm. Under options? Oh, there it is. It's under options. Okay. God on. Now we are literal gods. So does that give us... I'm assuming that gives... I'm assuming that gives us, like, unlimited ammo. It does not give us unlimited ammo. Weird. It also doesn't give us unlimited weapon usage, like no overheating. So it just gives us unlimited energy. That's all it gives us. Which I mean is still really good. So that means we have like unlimited flight and shit. Question of the day, if you could travel back in time, would you change anything about your past? I have, like, two answers. The meme answer, of course, is, like, buy all the Bitcoin. You know? <laughs> like, uh, that's, I mean, I don't really know if meme answer's right thing to say, but, like, you know, wouldn't have any money trouble if I had somehow found a way to buy as much Bitcoin as I wanted and then some, and then not spend it on stupid shit, like, uh, PC games. Um, and then, like, you know, proper answer, I guess, would be, like, to spend more time with loved ones that are no longer here sort of thing, because, like, you know, time's limited and all that shit. You don't really realize it until, until they're gone. So, even though we have God Mode on, we can still very easily lose the mission just by, like, not properly defending these dudes. Unless they're all gods as well. Maybe maybe all of our bases are gods and they just can't be destroyed. I really wish that it had given us, like, infinite ammo. God mode. That would have been huge. But just having the infinite energy, honestly, is really nice. Oh, these are their bases? Yeah, fuck them up, dude. I have no idea if, like, this actually does anything for us destroying their bases, but... And I guess since we have infinite energy, we also have infinite shields, so we can't personally die. But our units definitely can. What do you mean the base is being destroyed while I'm wandering around? I'm busy working here, my guys. I guarantee you I've killed more of these things than you have. Oh my god, I don't like these weapons. Where are they? Incoming. 
Oh my god, why am I spinning? I don't like spinning. Wait. Why are we not flying all of a sudden? That was weird. Fuck! Bro! I legit don't know what to do, like, in this mission. I mean, like, I get we have to defend the base or whatever, but does that mean we should just stay here? Like, in this little vicinity and just... Lily, hello! I mean, I guess they do Lily literally say... Hydrate. Or did just say, stay close to the base. But I like blowing shit up! And it seems like blowing up their... Base would be like useful. I don't know. Blowing up the big dudes useful at all? The thing, like, I have no idea. Incoming warhead. I still don't know what that really means. Okay, so this is north, so that would this would be east. So these guys? Please don't drop bombs on my friends. <laughs> oh god. Uh fly. The Veggie Tales affinity is not isolated. Wait, did you find somebody else that's obsessed with Veggie Tales? I don't understand the Veggie Tales shit to be honest with you. Big dudes over here? Can we shoot that far? Probably not. Hold on, dudes coming this way? Imagine it was watched in school. Sunday school for, for me. I imagine like the Christian schools and whatnot probably watched it like during class or whatever, but. <laughs> no. God, these things are fast. Okay, we've more or less stayed close to base. And it seems like destroying their carrier ships would be handy though, you know? Focus study veggie tail classes. Fuck that. Just fail me now. Bruh, I'm destroying them. Um, chill. Can't shoot this close to myself though. Is that all of them? Okay, big dudes up here. Oh my god. No, don't drop bombs on my friends! Oh my god, they're all dropping bombs on my friends. Too late. We done fucked it. Are you dead? Kind of hard to tell who's dead and who's not. Are you okay? You're dead. East. 
this way. Fuck, out of ammo? Okay, dead. Like, everything's out of ammo, bro. What do you want me to do about it? I'm over here. There's nobody. Well, I mean, they're like all the way over there. Oh my god. Weapons always overheating. Why do our defenses suck so much? Have to do is survive 60 seconds, I think. <laughs> Bruh, I'm on the eastern front. I'm doing what I can. South again, okay. We coming? Is it from like here? I think this is the south. Oh, oh, hi. Oh god, there's a lot of you people. How are we supposed to defend against this shit? I would really like to know how we do the flips and shit. It just happens, I literally have no idea. Oh, fuck, no, I forgot all about the OD trailer. I do need to watch it. Uh, You know you watched it in, like, Sunday school as a child and you had a few movies of it, but your old school never, ever had it? That's surprising, honestly, that they never showed it in, like, Sunday school. Because, like, you know, regular school, they, or not Sunday school, Christian school. Like, regular school, they would show different random movies and shit, so I'm surprised they didn't just show Veggie Tales because, I don't know. Christian shit grade E I'm not surprised we sucked but this game is much better with god mode on I wish it was still possible to die like if energy and shields were separate that would be nice um because I do like you know the ability to die <laughs> but because it adds some sort of challenge but I I, I do really like the infinite flight because the limited flight mechanics kind of kind of lame but no i do need to watch that i definitely need to watch that this game crawled so gundam versus could run is gundam versus good i've never played it i've only ever played one gundam game it was the uh knockoff dynasty warriors gundam game i don't remember the name of it but you do like the ability to die, yes. Please and thank. If you like Gundam, fair. That's that's a good answer. Is there anyone like in particular we should be trying to kill? I guess it's just Defend our bases. Okay. Just, I feel like there's probably some sort of strategy for who we should be trying to kill or whatever. But I don't really understand it, so... By Muspel Ground Forces, do you mean their buildings? Because I want to destroy their buildings. I look at this like a fucking RTS, you know? If you destroy the buildings, they can't produce more units. 
or they have to spend a bunch of resources building new buildings so they can produce units. So I feel like building should just be the go-to thing. Got to get their, their barracks and their weapons factory and all that shit, you know? Sure, there's nonsense, nothing, but there's a bunch of hidden shit that makes people think it's for an iPhone reboot. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Hideo Kojima making the next iPhone. <laughs> Is it dead? No, it's not dead. Fucking weapons overheating, dude. How's this building still standing? It's literally like... <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I remember you saying who it is. Oh, you were telling Nate. I didn't see Nate asking there. I just want Kojima to make everything now, you know? Cell phones, TVs, DVD players, game consoles. You have to watch a three hour movie to make a call. You have to wait six in game days to turn on your game console or an old man dies somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this seems like we probably should have done the ground unit person because we're definitely more or less fighting on the ground here. <laughs> All 911 operators must cosplay paramedic. Exactly, dude. Now you're getting it. Oh, damn. That building went down quick. Anybody else still alive? Somewhere over here. At least there wouldn't be as many spam calls. I mean, true. True. But imagine if you have to call in late for work or something, man. <laughs> like, you have to do a fucking real-time sniper battle in the middle of the Amazon to call in late for work. Oh, fuck. We're, like, out of all non-energy ammo now. It's fine. Well done. Mission complete. There we go. <sighs> See, the missions where you just, like, blow shit up? I'm not too bad at them ones. Them ones make sense to me. But the ones where we have to, like, do things that, like, make sense, those ones don't make any sense to me. It's hot in here. I might turn on my AC. All in sick as fuck, and then they try to talk to you about movies from the 50s. Fuck yeah, dude. Have you ever seen the original Godzilla? What was the other one? The 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 swamp horror movie? It, it, the Thing? What, what the fuck was it called? I can't remember. <laughs> you got God in Swi Swide Quest. And Swide Quests? I can't fucking talk. Words don't work. That's fucking great, dude. On, I'm actually gonna turn on my AC real quick. Creature from the Black Lagoon, that was it. I knew it was some kind of swamp and monster, but I couldn't remember <laughs> any of the other details about it. Just King Kong, uh, Godzilla, and Swamp Monster. That's that's all I could remember. <laughs> Those were, that was it. Sorry, it's like 50 degrees outside, so I gotta turn on my AC real quick, you know? It's too fucking hot for that shit. <laughs> the air carrier Venture is en route to the task force just off the shore of Vienna. Strange radar readings have been detected on a nearby island, and the Venture is about to take a closer look. Company the Venture. What time? Oh, it's only 2.30. Uh, well, if it's an air carrier, 
And then I'm assuming we're gonna be like doing a lot of shit in the air. I'm probably wrong, but I'm gonna use Major Lorenzo. Oh, it does actually change the ship depending which one we're using. These two are like exactly the same though. Okay, I guess the wings are a tiny bit farther apart and the underside is like changed a little bit, but looking at these two, like there's actually a big difference. Okay, we want this one, the the air one. Um, maybe? <laughs> I don't remember honestly if I have or not. I just, I haven't played a proper game of Yu-Gi-Oh, a match of Yu-Gi-Oh in like six, seven years, so. We'll finish yeah. Our and catch you guys back on Russo. Roger that. Stay out of trouble. Library. <laughs> we'll teach for votes. <laughs> uh, Master Dole. Okay, I do have it. It's not installed, but I do have it. It's only a few hundred megabytes. It's not that big. What the hell is that thing? I don't know, but I don't like it. Evasive action, full left, brother. Get clear, son. What are we doing? Why are we getting clear? Can I just destroy this thing? They got their own Metal Gear over here? Wait, why is it not taking any damage, though? That's what I want to know. Is there, like, specific points we have to hit or something? There we go. Oh, so we just had to wait for it to open its fucking mouth? Its name is before K42. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so literally we just have to wait for it to open its fucking mouth. Uh, why can't I walk back any- Oh, it's the water! God, why are we so slow, dude? Alright, open your gaping maw, my guy. Please? Please open mouth? Uh, did game break? Okay, there we go. Is it loading? Wait, was it open that whole time? <laughs> wow, Nate. <laughs> I think Nate's a little salty, bro. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Bro, he's shooting. We're shooting in his mouth. There we go. Let's go. Ammunition depleted. Can we hit the body now? We're like... Is it like up top? Is that the weak spot? This. We'll just ride this fucking thing. It's fun. Get wrecked, bitch. It's just interactive watching. <laughs> oh my god. It's fine. It's fine, Nate. It's okay to be salty sometimes, my guy. Yeah, I mean, if it's the meta, you just kind of have to go with it, honestly. I understand disliking where the meta's at, but it kind of is what it is, right? Clear the landing zones of obstacles, then Aether for 74 says they try to clear the local defenses. Okay. 
So does that mean we're going to be doing ground shit? I had like the exact wrong <laughs> configuration for last one. So that shows like how well I pick things. But sure, let's pick ground shit. I'm oh, just like cracking jokes. You're fine, man. You're fine. It's okay. It's okay. We all get salty sometimes. I'm picking on you, man. I know you're not like mad, man. It does suck, though. Anytime, like, a game you really like has a big change that doesn't sit well with you. Like, honestly, the way Yu-Gi-Oh is currently played doesn't particularly sound fun to me, man, to be honest with you. Like, Wait, we just need to destroy any of these beta things? It doesn't matter which ones? Oh. Okay, they're like in quadrants or whatever. Okay. Where's the last one in beta? Okay, there we go. This frame rate sucks <laughs> right now. Not wrong with the interactive watching or ways to interrupt combos. Yeah, I mean, I figure there has to be some way to counter the bullshit, right? So I haven't played, so I don't have a very strong or good opinion on it, but <laughs> I, I imagine there has to be some way to counter the bullshit. Otherwise, like, the game would just be terrible from a, like a tournament standpoint or whatever. Just redeemed hydrate. Bruh, do you see all this shit? All these explosions? You want me to hydrate right now? Bruh. Get pulse cannon, bitches. <laughs> Honestly, like... Even though God Mode takes all of the challenge out of the game, I feel like it's a much more fun way of playing the game, right? It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. Sometimes just blowing a bunch of shit up is what you need. I do need somewhere to like refill ammo and shit though, because we're almost out. All we have left are grenades on the on the ground front. I'm trying to deal with the bombers, but the problem is, you see, my current weapon selection kind of sucks ass. Oh, we do have pulse cannons, I guess, still. So we're not truly out of ammo. Is there any more? I'm sure there are more, but I don't fucking see them. All we have are micro missiles. Oh, weapon augmented? Where's a building? Give me a building. Get fucked. Stampin' and Grand Scheme match are generally one to three turns, it seems. See, that just sounds bad for the... for the pro circuit, to me. Again, I don't follow the pro circuit or anything for... for Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm... My opinion's really not... Like, it just doesn't matter, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> it sounds like 
that would be a boring match to watch. If there's no, like... You know, because the, the best matches to watch of anything are whenever it's it's close, you know? Because it creates some some excitement. Watching two people that are, are well... matched against each other. That, um... You know, you're not sure, like, which way it's going to go until there's, like, some big event that suddenly tips it in one person's favor or right, in t right until the end, you know, sort of thing. If it's just, like, turn one, somebody's like, all right, I do this and you lose, like, that's kind of... That, that doesn't sound fun to watch to me, you know? That'd be like uh, watching a football game where it's, like, 40 nil in the, the second quarter, you know? Like... Bruh, I mean, unless I guess the second or they come back, you know, like the people that had zero came back in the third quarter or something, fourth quarter, like that would be pretty interesting, <laughs> but, but that's besides the point. That's besides the point. Weathering the storm, weathering the storm Evo. This is the first time we've actually unlocked like one of the alternate missions. With the beachhead established, the Forsetti units are attempting to hold their position until reinforcements can arrive from the main push. Help defend the landing zones. They must be clear of enemy forces for the reinforcements to be able to land. Okay, and what's this one? The same thing. So what's the difference? Oh, whatever, we'll do the Evo one, I guess, but... Again, I feel like we're doing more ground than air. So we'll grab ground guy. Mouse froze up. There we go. Hydrate, hydrate. Oh, fuck. I'm excited to finish up God of War tomorrow. At least hopefully finish up God of War tomorrow. I'm excited to see what game we're going to be playing next. Whether it's going to be like a... A 30 year game like Persona or something much more reasonable like, um, I don't know, something. Oh, yeah, Jack 2. Jack 2 would be one that's not super long that we could end up playing. But I have no idea, obviously, what it's going to be. It could be anything. I kind of wish we had, like, a regular non-energy-based weapon for this. We're being shot at. No shit, dude. It's a fucking war zone over here. I never would have guessed you would have been shot at. Oh, shit. Well, he wasn't already dead. He would be now. <laughs> Throwing some votes on Jack, too. I like it. I like it. Oh, hi, buddy. I'd appreciate if you didn't shoot my friends down there. Are they, like, actually doing any damage, our guys? Or are they just here more for, like, moral support, you know? Oh, Shadow the Hedgehog? It's not on the list, remember, man? Not yet? It's gonna be on the list eventually, but... I gotta get, uh... I gotta get some room in my box. Oh shit, I missed. Yeah, I got you, dude. I'm excited to give it a try, because I've never played Shadow the Hedgehog before. I've heard a lot about it, of course, but I've never actually played it. Mm -hmm. 
again, Warzone, it'd be awfully weird if you weren't taking a few hits every now and then, dude. Is that a big dude? Hold on, I think there's, yeah. There's a Metal Gear up here, let's get him. He's dead. I wish we had just like a normal non-energy based weapon. I know I said that already, but like, damn. Pretty fun, it's edgy Sonic with guns. Like I said, I've heard a lot about it. I know the basics of what it is. Just never played it before. And don't know anything about it other than edgy Sonic with guns. Looks like a fancy building. I'd hate to see it get blown up. Wait, is it possible to blow up? What is that thing? Okay, is it like some sort of cannon? It looks like a laser cannon or something. But it looks like all of their... Like all of their uh, fucking buildings. Now, this time, is this our reinforcements or their reinforcements that's coming in? Direct. Is that a building? I guess that is a building. Get fucked, building. Maybe. That's rude. What do you mean? The marshal was destroyed? What the fuck? Who's the marshal? Did I, like, go too far ahead or something? <laughs> You're gonna have to find your own way home, son. That's... Fuck me. I'm sorry. Reinforcements are en route. Looks like the must spell will hit us long before then. We must keep that beach at open hawk. Ensure our tanks still hold the beach for the reinforcements. Good I'm guessing, like, we just need to stay close. Like, going... going ahead. I was keeping an eye, like, on the number of vehicles that we had, and I was like, yeah, we're good, you know? Like, we still have 40-some out of 50 vehicles. We should be, we should be Gucci. But apparently that's not how that works. Also, like, destroyed all of their bases and shit. I was feeling pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Telling me there's an incoming warhead doesn't really help me out much. I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, I'm gonna destroy these big guys. Hopefully they're not too far away. See, I feel like we've already lost more people this time than we did last time. When I was fucking just running around doing whatever the fuck I wanted. But whatever, what do I know? I'm just the guy in the mech. Alright, you're taking a few hits. From who, where, and why? I just do good. 
these dudes over here? Okay, there's a mech over here. I got you. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Fucking explosions. Okay. You? You're dead. Looks like a fucking tractor. Destroy this thing, I guess. I don't know. It's a bigger thing on the map. Bigger, bigger symbol on map. I'm just assuming that's what we should be focusing on. We're gonna run out of ammo for the main gun here soon though, which is gonna be annoying. Bro, they even sound like tractors. Oh, hi. <laughs> Let me fucking get out of here a little bit. How that weapon automation thing works is it like after we destroy so many people is it just random all i know is it's sick as hell whenever it happens it destroys like anything did this building Probably head to the west then. Make sure they get to the beach. Bro, there are so many people like everywhere. We might end up losing this mission again. I'm not 100% positive what we're meant to be doing right now. Uh, we probably need to be taking down these dudes in the air, though. We have micro-missiles? We do not. That sucks. What happened to our micro-missiles? Fuck me, bro! All right, quit. Nope, we're not. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm guessing Evo is just harder mode. It says, like, branching missions, but that just seems like hard mode to me or something, man. I don't know. We're going to we're gonna try to just go back and do the, the regular mission, the non-Evo. See how that goes for us. Hopefully that's a little better. Progress has been saved. Good. That's... <laughs> Thanks, game. Okay, and I thought I had, yeah, Micro Missiles Vul Vulcan Cannon. I must have grabbed this one by mistake. And I want this one. Um, I'm just going to pick Lieutenant Fox, man. I don't know. Every time I pick someone, I feel like I picked the wrong one, so... Lieutenant Fox is where it's at. Oh, fuck, it's 3 o'clock, too. Okay, so we'll give this one more try, and then I think we're pretty much done for the night.
Got to get ready for tomorrow. By ready, I mean take another nap. <laughs> That's about it. Get some sleep. Reinforcements are on route. Looks like the Muspel will hit us long before then. We must keep that beachhead open, Hawk. Ensure our tanks still hold the Wait beach for the reinforcements. Pulse yeah, okay, so this is exactly the same. But I'm I'm assuming easier. I'm hoping it's fucking easier. I don't care about these little dudes. Uh, big blast for nothing. By who, though? So you saying you're taking damage, but... Where? I need, like, indicators, you know? Of, like, this unit's taking damage, these people need help, whatever. I mean, we get a little, like, indicator for who's talking at him at any given time, it looks like. But other than that... There's a big dot on the map. You. That should be enough to kill you, right? Yeah. Reporting friendly contacts to the southwest. We'll join the air support, sir. Holy shit balls. Over there? Wait, am I supposed to go, like, all the way around the beach? Maybe that's why we've been sucking so much, man. I haven't been, like, going all the way over here. destroyed the building. I'm assuming this is a factory, but now units. Oh shit. This <laughs> Honestly, this game reminds me a lot of, like, an RTS, but if you were just some dude running around it, you know? It feels like it needs a mode where... Where you get, like, a top-down view. Kind of like Larian Studios made... The, the people that make the newest um, Baldur's Gate game. They made a game where, like, it's an RTS, but you also actually get down in the action and fight and shit. That's what it feels like this game was meant to be, or should have been. I think we're destroying- yeah, we're definitely destroying our own shit. We're fine. We're good at this game. Alright. South, so this would be west. 
Wait, which one am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go to the west or am I supposed to help the landing craft? I honestly don't know what's more important right now. Let's head to the... I mean, the west seems fine. Right? Yeah, the west is fine. Sustain major damage run. Fuck! <laughs> I give up. I don't... I guess it's the, the bombers, the dudes in the air. That, that that has to be what we're not dealing with that we should be dealing with. But, whatever. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, that, it honestly, it's not a bad game. It's fun to just blow shit up. But that's it. That's the only, like, redeeming quality of the game. Is that blowing shit up is fun. Multiplayer could be fun, you know? Mech on mech action could be fun. I don't know if it's just, like, 1v1 or... Skirmish versus and cooperative modes. Oh, co-op could be fun, too, actually with a friend or whatever but like i'm wondering if there's like ground troops and shit too and you're just trying to like destroy each other's bases or if you're just trying to kill each other wonder like how that works but i don't know i may never find out uh <laughs> anyways guys thank you for coming and hanging out for a little bit while we played some battle engine aquila uh i do appreciate you all being here merry christmas happy holidays all of that stuff a little bit late but uh yeah all of that and yeah imagine the eight pixels you get with split screen yeah just like the good old days man i'm more uh <laughs> i'm more more excited for the whole like three fps that you'll end up getting you know since we were dipping down into it felt like roughly the 15 territory in single player it's got to be great in the split screen you know <laughs> anyways yeah nope have a good night guys thank you for coming out i'll see you tomorrow with uh god of war bye oh be kind to each other too do it <laughs> Goodbye. We still have three more, counting this this angry one here. God damn. Got him. Okay. Now we just gotta actually catch him before he wakes up. No, snake, get up, snake. What are you doing? He's already up, isn't he? Where'd he go?